Hi, my name is Julian Tu, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to resolve a firmware mismatch issue between a set point hardware configuration in a TI portal project and an actual hardware configuration that's been downloaded to a physical PLC rack. Once you've established an online connection to your PLC and you go online with the PLC in the device view window, what you'll notice is that in slot number two, the digital input module has a different icon than the digital output module next to it. When you hover over the digital input icon, you'll see that input-output data is not available. To gain some further information as to why slot number two has a different icon than the digital output module next to it, you can right-click on the module, go to Online Diagnostics, and then access the diagnostic status of that digital input module. The diagnostic status tells us that that the firmware version of the module in the PLC project is a version 2.2, but the actual firmware version that's loaded onto the module is a version 2.1. That's going to be our firmware mismatch. To resolve this firmware mismatch, I'm going to go ahead and go offline, close out of my diagnostics window, and right click on slot number two and go to change device. On the left hand side I have my current device. The digital input module is currently configured for version 2.2 firmware in the set point hardware configuration. On the right hand side I'll have my new device. I'll select the same model and the same part number, but this time the version is going to be firmware 2.1. Once I've downloaded the new hardware changes to the PLC, I can go ahead and go back online. And now all of my modules have a green check mark indicating that the set point hardware configuration matches the actual hardware configuration. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1 800 AWC info or www.awc incom. We are here to help.